Okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We got through everybody that we possibly could for a live taping of Kill Tony. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here with a brand new minute is the man who has written more brand new minutes than anybody else in the show's history. Woo! Currently headlining, selling out everywhere he goes. One of the most dangerous features in the island of North America. Opening for Rogan, Hinchcliffe, Segura, Trussell, all around the country. He's going to Denver with me this weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Prince Harry's new book, he described Elvis Presley's home Graceland as a dump. Um, Prince Harry, I'm actually from Memphis, so don't be talking shit about Graceland, you ginger piece of shit. <laughs> Ironically, Elvis started his life at the very bottom and worked his way to the very top, and Prince Harry worked his... God damn it! Ah. <laughs> This microphone smells like shit. I don't know whose <laughs> mouth. Ironically, Elvis started his life at the very bottom and worked his way to the very top. And Prince Harry started his life at the very top and worked his way to the very bottom. <laughs> you fucking British piece of shit. <coughs> Prince Harry literally describes Elvis Presley's house in Memphis as, and I quote, a badger's den. Newsflash, Prince Harry, but Dadger, Badger Dens are nice. But Dadger what? I use the Badger Den, ad, den app every weekend, uh, and I book some Badger Dens, so they're... <laughs> <laughs> they're called a set. Oh, what's that, Prince Harry? You didn't know a Badger's Den is actually called a set? Well, I learned that in Memphis, Tennessee, home of the king of rock and roll, something you'll never be. You want the good news or the bad news? Uh, okay, the bad news. The bad news is Prince Harry called Elvis Presley's home in Memphis a dump. The good news, Elvis is still banging his mom in heaven. <laughs> Fucking ginger piece of shit! <laughs> okay, that's my time. Wow, William Montgomery. Unbelievable performance. <clears throat> All the jokes hit. Even your... Uh... Miss Reads went extremely well. <laughs> yeah, my Something mistress. about you fucking up a joke, which is so much funnier than anybody else fucking up a joke. <laughs> I know. I, it, gets, it gets horribly nerve-wracking. I was smoking dope back there again tonight. I promised myself I wouldn't, but I was smoking some blunts, and I was laughing so hard. David went so hard after you. <laughs> Holy shit. That was funny. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I can't believe fucking the Duke of Sussex is talking shit about where I'm from. He needs to keep fucking Memphis out of his stupid fucking mouth. I, peep, I think people are sick of the fucking royals. He needs to stop talking about fucking Memphis. Okay. All right. Really knows how to pick his battles here. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm coming after you, Prince Harry, you piece of shit. I'm not fucking around. That was the last fucking straw. I've always hated fucking Prince Harry, stupid fucking ass. Wearing his fucking Nazi costumes. He's literally a racist. And he better not catch me in a dark alleyway because I'll fucking kill him. I wish I was kidding. How would you, how would you kill Prince Harry if given the chance? Probably a gun. Yeah, just walk up to him and be like, Oh, Prince Harry, hello, sir! And then I'd fucking shoot him right in the fucking food. Yeah, he talks like such a bitch. It's like I can't even take him seriously. With that stupid fucking hat. You know what I'm talking about? Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You are something else. What a riot. <laughs> what is it about Prince Harry that makes you so mad? It was literally when he... I had so many trials and tribulations back in Memphis. When he fucking brought that up, 
I literally had so much rage just boil up inside of me. I mean, the fucking Duke of fucking Essex is talk. Duke of Sussex, I think he's from. <laughs> okay. All right, William, what else has been going on in your world? Any new hobbies or anything? You're always up to something. We've seen you eat soup. We've seen you get sponsorships. We've seen you eat raisin bread. There's so many different things that's always going on in your personal life. I'm excited to find out what's happening this week. It is my birthday this week. Oh. So I've already... I've already been at the TCBY treats. I've already been fucking designing an ice cream cake for my birthday. So really excited about that. I was at TCBY three hours earlier. <laughs> but yeah, excited about designing the cake. I'm really excited. We'll be in Denver together. I'm really excited about whatever present you're going to get me. I've been dreaming about it. I'm just wondering what Tony's going to get me for my birthday when we're in Denver. Ah, have you ever had 80 popsicles at once? <laughs> <laughs> I actually have not. I know a guy. And if you like dirty jokes, you're in for a treat. I love it. What else? There must be something. Yeah, that else. guy was kind of strange. Are you still cutting he hair? He seemed nice, but. Are you still cutting hair? We found out. Yes, I actually booked 15 clients last week. My place is literally filled with fucking hair. It looks like I have a carpet. I normally have hardwood floors, but there's hair everywhere. I don't really know what to do with it. I don't have a broom. So my fucking, it literally is like a carpet. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's literally like a carpet in there. But yeah, I have a bunch of clients. I'm getting new ones. Uh, so yeah, if you need a haircut, just let me know and I'll be able to help you out. Oh, <laughs> no. D, D Madness will not let you cut his hair. If you were if you were going to cut D Madness's hair, which literally is a work of art. I mean, it is beautiful. This guy somehow, some way, has the best style and swag out of anybody every night. On there's no, show. Tony, there's no way I would ever cut the hair of a fucking blind person. Holy shit. Wait, wh 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 why do you say it? Because he might complain afterwards, but I would know in my heart that he really doesn't know what it looks like because he's blind. But I have a horrible, I have a horrible just thought. He would bitch about it, and it would end up turning into a big fucking thing. And I just start coming over to his house with my gun in my hand, just standing in front of the kitchen, fucking. Oh, he's standing up, just in his kitchen. He doesn't know I'm there. Huh? Yeah. D madness. That is, he has called it. Black spaghetti. <laughs> black winning. Black spaghetti. Old black spaghetti. Okay. Okay. I was just picturing that being the color of the spaghetti he actually eats because he probably burns it all because he can't oh, see. Oh my God. <laughs> William. William. First it's all brown spaghetti. <laughs> first of all, you boil spaghetti. <laughs> What are you, out there pan-frying spaghetti, William? <laughs> yeah, it's been a new thing I've been doing. Literally, I'm, I'm going to make you some. You got fucking, you and D-Madness are fucking, oh my Yeah, God. well, I wouldn't trust your fucking ass either, so. <laughs> I'm glad it's finally coming out after this amount of time, us being on the, huh? Okay, well, I would never cut your fucking hair. Goodness. Don't worry, I would never cut your fucking ear. Oh <laughs> my god. Yeah. This, Sounds like, this is one of the wildest fake arguments I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should go for spaghetti together and make up. What? What? No. <laughs> they should go for spaghetti and make up, he said. Yeah, I fucking heard you, Oh, ass. my God. <laughs> I fucking heard you, what dumbass. What is up with my regulars attacking the guests lately? <laughs> so angry. Yeah, I love seeing David come after your oh, fucking you ass. Stop, you stop it. You I st fucking loved it. <laughs> I'm going to kill Prince Harry. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, I'm not. There's no better way to end an episode. We do it the same way every week. <laughs> William Montgomery. <laughs> <laughs>